was really a gift to myself. I knew it was an investment, but I was like, I have been giving to everyone else and I, I deserve this. This is my own birthday gift. This is my own opportunity to find that balance and just really access my best self. And I wanted it to be all encompassing physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and all of it. And I wanted, I wanted intellectually, I wanted the knowledge too. I had zero hydration habits. Uh, I did not have a regular stress management, meditation lifestyle, or any sense of routine. I really lived life off the cuff. Um, the nature of my work brings spontaneous, spontaneous curveballs. And so I just arrived at work with no strategy and just, you know, worked with whatever came at me at the time in every role I had. Um, and that included managing my own self and my home. And so I just felt disorganized. I felt chaotic. Um, I felt like I had no sense of stability. I just didn't have the, all the knowledge or the tools and I didn't know how. Um, and I always had this fear. I think I had this like deep rooted, um, that part of me that was always 95% of the way there and then I bailed. So I had this problem with follow through. I had a problem with like getting really amped about something and everything I did. And it was probably rooted in like this, just, I don't know. I just, I just, le I, I left myself behind yeah. <laughs> every time. What you know? happened so that you could overcome all of what you're describing right now? Well, the word that was coming to me at the end of this was just like trust, right? I had to trust myself um, and start believing in myself and start keeping promises to myself. I feel like I'm fully at peace and aligned with all of my goals that I've been working on. And yeah, like I think that's, that's, that's my bottom line. The sense of calm, a sense of knowing. Yes. At any point. And like rooted, yes. right? Like, Yes. Standing rooted. Oh. That, I, I just came across that quote like yesterday. I, I see it all the time. It's like someone was saying, I want to leave my children with them feeling rooted and with wings. Yes. Right? Two yes. things, rooted and with wings. And I'm like, oh, that's how I feel right now. What new versions of yourself did you get to meet through this process? What? I feel that power. I feel that I'm returning to that self that I once knew a long time ago. But on a new level, because it, again, like every single day, you're never the same person before, right? So I come with that much more refinement, I feel like. I feel like the, if you ever heard me speak, I said over the last two decades, I felt like I was a dull pencil needing to be placed in a pencil sharpener. I felt like so foggy, you know, chaotic and like just not sharp and unfocused and disorganized. And this is the most sharp, organized, and on point I've felt in my life thus far. What are you most proud of yourself for, Reptire? For sticking to routines as best as possible, because that will lead to a lifetime of consistency. What are you most grateful for? For your brain and for making this happen, because <laughs> it's it's your it's your brain and heart, it's your whole body action that has created this, and therefore you can share it with the world. Thank you so much, Tessa. You're so sweet. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, it's been such a pleasure and just a total and complete honor being by your side this whole time, this whole journey, and. From the bottom of my heart and